It's a medical accessory that can cause cancer and is banned in other countries. Why is it still being used in Australia? There is not a chance I would have that product put in my body. Living in fear and in the dark. I just think, what, what's in there? These Australian women are desperate for the same answers. And my first thing that I said, am I going to die? Anne-Marie Sagewood had a cosmetic breast enhancement after having her fifth child. She hoped for a confidence boost, but had no idea it could lead to cancer. I was really shocked. All the worst case scenarios going through uh, my head, you know, I've got five beautiful children, I've got a beautiful partner. Uh, what are some of the outcomes of this? And I don't think anyone can prepare themselves for that sort of news. So can you take a the only warning sign was swelling in one breast. It almost feels like I have a really bad flu in my breast. Uh, the fluid is there and I feel really uncomfortable. Anne-Marie is one of at least 90 Australian women yeah. who've been diagnosed with implant-related anaplastic large cell lymphoma. The cancer develops when bacteria gets trapped in the grooves of the implant's surface, leading to infection, which triggers the immune system. What is it that makes you most nervous? I think it's the fact that um, it's not just cosmetic surgery anymore, it's reconstruction and it's a lot more invasive. Now, in a race against time. Hello, how are you? Please have a seat. Anne-Marie has asked Dr Anand Deva to remove the implants. And we also need to wait. We've got a lot of work to do in terms of, firstly, clearing her of the tumour, but more importantly then, analysing the tissues, checking the pathology. Since the current affair first exposed this link to lymphoma, the Therapeutic Goods Administration has launched a review into whether highly textured implants need to be taken off the market here in Australia, as they have already in Canada, France and the Netherlands. In Australia we've had three deaths. Um, and around the world, 16 deaths. Dr Deva is leading the global research into this issue at Macquarie Health. And so I can say with confidence, uh, with all the cases around the world, that we haven't seen a case arise from a smooth implant. So it's definitely a textured implant problem. There are four grades of implants on the market. Grade one is smooth, the second slightly textured, but grade three, highly textured, and grade four, known as polyurethane, are the products of most concern. They're devices that have long been popular with breast cancer and reconstruction patients. The reason the texture is there is that it's designed to almost hold or Velcro the implant in place. So when someone's had an operation for breast cancer, there's often quite a large space and you want to position that implant and you want that position to you want that implant to hold its position. Dr Jeremy Hunt from the Australian Society of Plastic Surgeons says implant related lymphoma is rare. So that a lot of implants out there, in fact the majority of implants out there, have an extremely low chance of having any association with ALCL at all. That's little comfort for some. Head to toe, it felt like my body was on fire. It felt like it was literally screaming um, for me to listen to it. The surgery is now urgent. Crystal Barter had a preventative mastectomy in her 20s, and late last year, her body suffered another big blow. I went, I need an ultrasound on my underarms because at the end of the day, this isn't normal. What did they discover when you went for that ultrasound? They went over one and one was okay. And then they went to the other one. They said, oh, there's fluid. We're not quite sure what that is. I'm going to bring in the doctor. One of her solidome implants had split and was leaking silicon through her body. Did the doctor say that's considered quite a significant rupture? Oh, yeah. Very, very bad. It's not even really a rupture, it's a complete explosion. Yeah. Um, There's not a chance that I would ever use anything that has the name Elegant on it again. Alarm bells started to ring for breast cancer survivor Jane Kilkenny as she arrived in New York to compete in the marathon. It makes you feel vulnerable, it makes you feel scared. Both of her Allegan implants had ruptured just two years after reconstruction surgery. Breast cancer is bad enough. Um, but an implant issue on top of that makes the whole experience just a nightmare. Tracy's elegant implants have also failed. One's been removed while the other is still trapped inside.
So now I'm left with no breast this side and a poison breast this side. These women, who've already faced cancer once, now fear their implants are not only faulty, but dangerous, like Anne-Marie's. Today, she's in surgery and has allowed our cameras into the theatre. Uh, this is, look how swollen that is. Yeah, compared to the other one. Compared to this one. So this Dr. Deva and his team work meticulously to remove the first implant. That's it. But the tumour is on the right side and that's where this operation becomes more delicate. This is the cancer. The process begins by draining out the fluid and cancer cells from the swollen breast. Then the implant is removed and the tumour below the muscle is taken out. Procedures like this are becoming more common as the number of breast implant related ALCL cases rises by 50% every year. And Marie's case is quite a complex one and there is no guarantee that every patient will be given the all clear once the implants have been removed. In some women where the, the diagnosis is missed or the cancer has come out of the gates and has spread, then they will need chemotherapy. After a few hours, the surgery has gone well, but Anne-Marie faces a painful recovery. My hope is that without the high-grade textured implant, the risk of uh, the tumour recurring will be zero. The TGA is expected to deliver its ruling on textured implants in coming days. I would like the TGA to take this implant off the market. I'm still, I guess, living in fear. As the founder of breast cancer awareness charity Pink Hope, Crystal says concerns are growing over these devices. I have women calling me up every day saying, I have these implants, what do I do? The advice from Dr Deva, if you notice any swelling or change to the implant, see your surgeon immediately. I mean, this is a very personal issue to be talking about. Yeah. Why have you chosen to share your story? Why have you chosen to speak about it publicly? Just if I can get that awareness of do your research, ask the questions for a better outcome, that's worth me putting myself forward. We'll update you when the TGA's made its decision. A statement from Allegan is on our website.